baby. What you doing? I want to present you with the key to our new tiny home. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alright guys, so we got the welder here, and he's welding up the door frame for us. You didn't know you were going to be famous, did you? No. <laughs>
All right, guys, so it's installation time for the door lock. So basically, I, I need to make sure that I'm dead center on, on this so that when I drill my hole, uh, I have enough room inside the door to fit the, uh, the, the receiver. Right now, I've just center punched a little hole. So here's kind of how your template goes on and you know you're supposed to drill your hole in, in line with this template here but we don't have the standard two two inch door or whatever it is once I get that hole drilled then I'll be able to go in with a center a step bit and we'll be able to uh, widen it out and then we'll go from there. A little bit too wide but the lock fits in there pretty perfectly so I'm gonna let this paint dry and then I'm gonna push this all the way in and then I'll mount it gonna get us hole so we can put our lock in it. One of these little holes on the template brings the lock closer, one takes it farther away. And so whichever uh, one that you want to use, you can adjust this. So if you want to use the short one, which is two and an eighth inches away, denoted by this arrow and this hole, you will use the lock like this, okay? If you want to use this one, which is the one that's two and three quarters of an inches away, or 70 millimeters, then what you do is you will twist this and it makes it longer. So shorter, longer. I think that we're gonna go for the uh, we're going to go for the longer version and the reason why is because I want to miss all of these rivets with um, with the box that's going to fit in there so I'm going to use the two and three quarters method so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to stick this up here and I'm gonna need to line the middle. for the fun part this $20 expensive little item so just so you guys know this is a 2 and 1 8 inch Milwaukee dozer it's basically made for metal
Oh, hey everybody. I did this. I put a hole in our door. Hopefully it's right. We'll see. you guys what this right here this tool right here this can't be replaced either I got this for like 20 I don't know 25 bucks or something off of Amazon these are step bits comes with a center punch I'll put the link in the description this is a really good product and it uh, you know it, it was it allowed me to be able to put that hole through the side, which never would have been able to do with anything else. What's up, guys? We wanted to um, do an unboxing of our door lock that we chose. We're about to get ready to do the door video part two. So we wanted to do an unboxing of our door lock that we found, and we hope it's going to be great for the size that we need. Um, so here it is. It is the Ultra Smart Deadbolt. Um, we will try to put a link in the description for you guys if you want to look um, look it up and see if it would work for you. But the size of our door space that we had available um, didn't work for some of the ones that we've seen other people use. Um, so we have a smaller area, so we found this one. It has really good reviews. It feels nice and heavy. Um, so we're going to unbox it for you right now. It looks like we got two pieces. Yeah, it has a fingerprint and um, number pad that so you can access either way and I think it also has a manual way to enter I don't know what that is but what was it called yeah this this flips down somehow and you can put an actual key in there and unlock it so it works as a deadbolt also um, it's also one reason why I like this particular lock is because if your batteries die then you can take any battery pack like a rechargeable battery pack and you can plug it into this USB port this micro USB and then that will charge this up enough to where you can put your keypad in or your or your thumbprint to get your door open so you can change the batteries so this is the part that will go on the outside of the bus it looks really nice and it felt heavy in the box so it looks like it's yeah very very heavy heavy duty another reason why we went with this one is cuz this is one of the only ones we could find in a black color yes we also wanted black and yeah that we can... like like we said that's one of the ones that we are one of the reasons why we went with this particular one because some of the other ones are like uh, one of the main ones out there that we've seen people use are actually a little bit bigger than this particular section right here. And we don't have that amount of space in between our center section of the door where you would put a lock. So that's why we went with this. And part of our security system will be we will have actual cameras installed. Um, so like when we're even away from the bus, we will be able to monitor the bus at all times. So we will catch up with you guys a little bit later and do an install on this. Does it look straight? It does. So this goes here.
Yeah. All right, YouTube. Here's Stephanie trying her her door lock her door lock out for the first time. Look at there. It worked. Let's get one for you, Dad. Harold, here's your daughter trying her new lockout for the first time with her thumbprint. All righty, there you have it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Good afternoon. Um, just wanted to show you something real quick. I don't don't think I explained this in the uh, past video, so I wanted to kind of talk about it. So when we uh, removed the weather strip here, you know, we had two doors that uh, folded like this. And after, after I filled in with all this metal, and then after I took the old door jam out, which had the hinges on it, that was no good. It was all bent up. We were left here with about a one and a, I don't know, one and a quarter, one and a half inch gap or so. So what Phil did, the welder that you guys saw, is he came in, or he came out, and he welded in a piece of, it's one inch on the inside, and one and a quarter inch on the outside. Uh, angle iron. And that was... You know, of course, he welded that to the uh, to the edge of the door, as you can see. And we'll come in and we'll fill we'll fill all this in with caulk from the back backside, and then we'll wrap the liner over it to seal that caulk in, so that no no water intrusion can get in. And then on this side, he welded in a piece of one by one square tube. So. When this shuts, it shuts tight. It shuts tight over um, over that square tube. I've uh, I've drilled a hole here. This is um, this is where the lock uh, mechanism goes in. All of this will wind up being raptor lined from top to bottom. The inside of the door, I've got this raptor line, all the edge, and then I'm gonna put a new coat, a fresh coat on the front. Um, I'm gonna wind up putting some uh, one inch weather stripping right here, and that's gonna seal everything tight. It's already got what the factory weather stripping up here, which it seals completely tight against that, and this weather strip right here which uh, also seals really tight so theoretically we shouldn't have any air gaps while we're riding down the road and it will most definitely be sealed in uh, weather tight as well so just wanted to show you guys that and uh, in case that you've got the same type of a door now I mentioned in the previous video that the, this door the way that this thing had to be installed, if you can see, see how it leans so it doesn't go straight up and down. It, it's cocks at an angle all the way from the top to the bottom. And when the door shuts in there, I mean, it's, it's going to shut tight, very tight. Then all these holes, I'm going to fill in with bolts and washers, decorative bolts and washers that'll look, look like they're made part of the door, hopefully so. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Guys, I just wanted to take a moment and uh, give a shout out to Phil, uh, the guy that welded um, for us. Um, I'm going to include some pictures here of just some things that he does. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from him, just uh, hit me up with a comment at the bottom. Um, as you can see, he makes custom signs for your schoolie. Uh, he can make uh, fire pits, 
Um, he makes custom grills uh, that can be collapsed and um, and stored away. I want to mention that him and his wife do this together and they're both super talented so hey guys as usual we do appreciate you guys watching the video if you liked what we did here uh, maybe you found it useful um, please uh, like and subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell and even if you didn't find it useful or you didn't like the video you thought it was crappy something like that you can still hit that bell still like the video and still share the video that way you'll be notified next time we put out some more crappy content hey until next week peace